What are these things? These things are called, you might see on there, it's called a, um, everyone pronounces it differently, I call it a clinometer. Uh, I don't call it a clinometer because it comes from the same word where we get incline, right? When something is off at an angle, right? Like inclination, okay? Because this is about measuring angles and inclination, okay? Actually, they're about measuring angles of inclination. Anyway, I digress. Um, I suppose you could call it a clinometer or a clinometer. I don't know, it's up to you, man. So you use this to measure an angle. Now you can see there's, um, there's a little trigger here, right? There's a little blue trigger. When you hold that down, what happens is this arrow in here, it, it releases, it goes loose, okay? Once you let it go, it snaps in place. And it snaps in place on an angle. You can actually see um, there's those, what is it, embossed or standing out. You can read that, okay? So let me show you how you actually use it, right? So step one. Step one, right? So I, want you, I do want you to get this down. So can you hand, can you hand? Okay, step one, um, you hold down the trigger. Okay, that's the first thing you do. If you want to start measuring, you hold down the trigger and then you see this, this thing, it goes loose and it releases, right? Okay. The next thing you do is, and for this in a second, you're gonna have to pick this up and have a look at it. Um, you need to point it at the top of whatever you're measuring, right? So point it. People have done this with trees, but you can do it with whatever you like. So for instance, here is, um, you know, here's a, here's a basketball hoop, okay? This is so funny. Right? So this is, here's you standing at the bottom, and there's the basketball hoop, okay? So you want to point up towards it like that. Okay? Does that make sense? Now, um, you've, you've held down that thing, so this thing is waving around as you point up and down, okay? Now, here's the important thing to align it. Now look carefully at it, right? Um, you can see there's like a there's an arrow point here on the front, like the gun part of it, and then on the end there's a there's a sort of dip. So it looks like this at the at the end, and then closer to you there's a part like that. Okay, does that make sense? Now when you're pointing, you want the top and the bottom to line up, right? So you want it to look kind of like this. It's going to have a um, actually this one's in front. So there's going to be this thing poking out and you actually want it to line up exactly. That's how you know you'll be accurate, okay? So you want to line up the arrows. That's how you get precise, okay? Line up the arrows. So there's the pointing up arrow and then there's the pointing down arrow. So you want them to line up in your line of vision, okay? Once you've lined them up, you can release the trigger. Okay, so you can look at it side on from me. So suppose I point up like that, uh, my trigger's like that. So it wait till it's still, and then you release. And now you've got the angle there. Okay, so the last step is read off the angle. <coughs> okay, so you can see by the way, um, zero, zero is down here, it's down here at the bottom. So it, it goes up like that. Okay, so for example, if it's between zero and ten, you're going to be five. Some people think, oh, it counts this way, just read the units carefully. Okay. Now here's what you're going to do. Maybe you do want to go and do, there's people on the courts. You can do it from the outside, actually. We're going to take two measurements, okay? First, you're going to go through this, and that's going to give you this angle in here. In fact, I'd really like you to draw this rough diagram so you can see what's going on. I'm going to call this theta, okay? So with the clinometer, you're going to measure theta. Quite importantly, you might notice, it's from your head, or more specifically, from your eye. It's not from the ground. That's actually significant. The other measurement you will need is, so, other color. Whatever object you're measuring the height of, okay, you want to draw a, a line down from that directly to the ground, so this should be vertical. Yeah. And then you want to measure the distance from you to that spot on the ground, okay? From you to that spot on the ground. Let's call that x meters, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to pick an object, you'll measure its angle, and from that spot where you're standing, you want to measure that distance as well, okay? Now, hopefully you can see, you know, you can get a whole bunch of these for the same object. For instance, if you stand closer, right? So let's put another person in here. Okay, if you stand closer and there's another person there measuring, their angle is going to be higher. Can you see that? That angle is higher than this angle, right? And in the same way, this horizontal distance will be different. Same object, 
but a different angle and a different length. Or, in the same way I could stand further away, the angle would be lower and this distance would be longer. You get the idea. In fact, part of what I'd like us to do is, maybe either you can do this on your own, or you can, get, you can cooperate with a few other pairs. Um, I want us to get as many of these kinds of measurements as we can. Same object, but lots of different angles and lengths. Okay?